Hey everybody, I'm Jack Rita, and it's tech time. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, two techs for Cosmic Encounter. One is a base game tech, and that is the Omega Missile. And the other is a custom tech that I have had made as kind of a companion, and that is the Alpha Missile. Um, so let's start with the Omega Missile, uh, what it does, and uh, why it's an interesting tech, and then we'll cover... Uh, why I made another one and what it does. So the Omega Missile, it destroys a planet. So this is a big deal, and that is why it has a high cost. It's eight ships, so it's going to take eight encounters if you research every encounter before you can do it. But actually, you probably want to wait that long anyway. Um, and of course, anytime you're researching a tech that has that many ships on it, it makes the other players very nervous because something big is about to happen. So, it destroys the planet. Once completed, you may discard this tech at the start of any player's encounter to choose a planet in any system. Remove that planet from the game and send all ships on it to the warp. So the reason I say you want to wait longer is because this is a tech that lets you wipe out a bunch of foreign colonies. Um, so if you're picking a planet where, let's say, earlier in the game, the offense invited everybody, uh, presumably except you, um, or it's even one of your own planets, which is, uh, you know, it can be a little bit risky, but this is later in the game, so maybe not as big. It'll just depend on how well you've managed to maintain home colonies. But you're picking a planet, and then boom, that planet is gone. It's removed from the game. That system has one fewer planet, and all the ships on that planet go to the warp. So any colonies there are uh, gone. They are removed. And foreign colonies, that's the big thing. You really want to uh, think about doing it. And what's interesting about this is you can complete the tech. And once it's completed, it's revealed. So then players know that you have the Omega Missile. And um, it means that you are much more likely to be invited along by the offense to join them so that uh, ostensibly that planet, if you have a colony on it, will not be targeted by the Omega Missile. Um, so yeah, it's a powerful card. I do like this tech. I think actually with a lot of the base game techs, it has felt over the years that the costs on some of them are maybe a little too steep. And that's one of the reasons why we came up with alternate ways to complete techs with the techs that came in Cosmic Odyssey is that you can get more powerful effects or at least even just medium effects, but not having to wait quite as long to do it. But this one, I think it probably is appropriate that it has a research cost of eight simply because of the potential. Uh, I've seen this played in an eight player game. It didn't wipe out seven foreign colonies, but it did wipe out six, which was a pretty big deal and um, caused quite a reversal of fortune for how things were going. So that's the Omega Missile. And I have become obsessed over the years uh, in Cosmic Encounter of uh, connections between things. So uh, when Kevin Wilson said, I'm going to do a companion alien to Loser, and it's going to be called The Winner, that set off uh, a sickness in my brain that has become an obsession. Uh, it's why I designed Love as a companion alien to Hate. Um, but that sort of thing, that sort of yin-y, yang -y, uh, thing, um, has been uh, of interest to me. So I came up with the Alpha Missile, and this is a Militech. So it's one of the new tech types, so it doesn't have an eight ship uh, cost. This is a tech that you could potentially complete um, right away, right on the first encounter. If you have two attack cards in your hand that uh, have values that are only one apart, so an attack five and an attack six, you discard those cards and voila, the tech is completed. So once completed, it destroys a home colony. Once completed, you may discard this tech at the start of any encounter to choose a planet in any system with no foreign colonies on it. Remove that planet from the game and send all ships on it to the warp. So this is, in many ways, uh, the opposite uh, of the Omega Missile. You can't destroy any foreign colonies. You are just taking out a planet with the Alpha Missile. So that's why the cost is not as drastic um, now, you may have to wait eight encounters before you have two attack cards. Um, that's just luck of the draw. 
Um, although it does give you incentive to make a deal and try to get uh, a hold of a card. So you can say, look, if you've got, um, if you've got a, a seven or a nine or a five or a four, I'll give you something for it. Uh, makes the dealing maybe a little bit interesting. Um, you can say, you know, right away, I'm looking for attack cards with these values. Um, who wants to make a deal? So if you've drawn like a wild destiny, that's something that I've done. Um, but it doesn't usually take you that long to get a hold of it. So it, it, more often than not, you're going to be able to play this card uh, and not necessarily have to wait too long to do it. Um, what I'm looking forward to is getting both of these missiles in the same game, potentially targeting the same system. Wouldn't that be fun? Boom, boom. Two planets in the same system, gone. Um, and then, of course, there are other effects that can destroy planets in a game. So it would be fun to see uh, all of those in there. And so I may I may put together a curated game of Cosmic Encounter, the Planet Killer one. Um, so it'll be a mix of aliens and other effects that will destroy planets. And it's just going to be a ticking time bomb of Cosmic Encounter to see if anybody can win before nobody can win. And uh, so, yeah, I'll let you know how that goes. Let me know your thoughts about the missiles. Um, would you think that the Alpha Missile would be a good addition to Cosmic Encounter? Um, are you just ambivalent about tech? I love tech, uh, so I'm going to keep making it. I've got this in my tabletop simulator version. Of course, I have a physical version of it now as well. And um, yeah, what do you think about the Planet Killer game? Is that uh, too hot for you uh, or... Like me, do you crave that sort of uh, chaos on occasion? Probably not every game of Cosmic Encounter needs to be like that. But I love the fact that you can make a, uh, you can leverage a lot of what Cosmic Encounter has in order to make for a particular type of game. Game really lends itself to that sort of thing now. And that is something that I'm going to continue to explore uh, over the next several sessions of Cosmic Encounter and the next several videos um, uh, coming up, um, how to create different types of play experiences within Cosmic. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.